Hey, this is Simeon, and I'm so glad to be back with you to explore another historical instrument from Real Samples. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at a 1628 Dutch harpsichord. And I've just found that these historical instruments have such personalities on their own. And this one is kind of special in that it has two different registers. So you have two keyboards, two complete manual keyboards. So you're, you're playing an upper and a lower, and they have an eight foot and a four foot stop and the different combinations. And so Real Samples has given us like six different uh, combinations of these registers. And so we're gonna take a look at these. And just as a reminder, you do need the full version of Contact in order to use this uh, particular instrument. So let's just dive in. So let's go ahead and just start uh, at equal temperament 440 and bring up the two times eight foot. So this is gonna be the upper and lower manual playing the eight foot stops together. And you can see the meters on the upper and lower uh, contact instruments there. The upper instrument, of course, is your notes on. And then every once in a while, you'll see that bottom instrument kick in with the notes off. There, there are eight note down because a harpsichord isn't velocity sensitive. To get away from that machine gun effect, they've recorded uh, each key with eight variations of when you play the note, and then four different variations when the notes released. So I'm gonna solo the lower instrument and we can just kind of hear what the notes off are doing. You kind of hear that. And there are four variations and so it just gives you that nice variety. Combined together, it's a very natural. And now let's go to just the lower eight foot. So this is th this was what we're what we're listening to now are both the upper and lower manual eight foot stops playing together. Now let's just load the lower and let's take a listen. just a, a depth or a warmth of the sound. It's, it's, really, it's really not a thin sound per se. I, I guess when we're, com when we're comparing just a single eight foot stop and then both of them together, um, but it, uh, there's just something about this. It's not a tinny type of sound. It's a real rich. And I think that was what was the thing that, that was desired among these Dutch harpsichords is just the tone that set them apart from other harpsichords of the day. And just load up the four foot stop and just get a, set, get a feel for the sound. So the four foot stop is a higher octave and than the eight foot stop. Now the two T has all of the stops together. And so we've got the four foot and both eight foots. Um, so everything, so here we go. And you can hear the two eight foot stops together and then the four foot stop having that octave higher just gives it really a nice brightness.
so it stops here at this at this G. So very nice. You just hear how just nice and warm that is. Let's uh, just jump to the 372 tuning and let's go ahead and do the uh, 2T layer as well. And we can kind of hear the difference in the tuning. Uh, so this is the original tuning, the 372. So here we go. Now this is, I'm playing in C, but it's tuned to 372. And sometimes my ear hears a pitch and sees what I'm playing on the keyboard. And sometimes it, because I'm so used to 440, it's a little, it's a little hard to get used to. Because it's almost like a whole semitone down. Cool. So let's jump on the Velati tunings and same same thing. You have all of the different uh, registrations. We've got uh, both eight foot stops, the four foot stop, and the lower eight foot stop by itself. And then we have the upper eight foot stop in this preset as well. So let's go ahead and just load up the um, upper eight foot stop. And this is the Velati tuning. So some of the notes have been just, just tweaked a little bit as far as some of the tuning. And so let's just uh, take a listen. And some of it, it just makes it sound a little bit brighter. Some of the notes are just kind of just adjust it a little bit, just a little microtonal adjustments. But when you're playing chords, all those little harmonic things just kind of come into play and create that really interesting sound. Let's go ahead and load up the 2D combination. And this is everything together. Yeah. I like the low end on this. Yeah, very nice. Now let's jump into the 372. I'd like you to be able to hear the difference uh, in the tunings. And I'm going to go with this uh, um, Lottenzug, uh, the lute. It's like a lute stop. And it sounds to me, it's kind of like a muted uh, type of, uh, it's almost like a muted stop. So let's uh, take a listen. And then this is the Velati at 372. Uh, so let's take a listen. Yeah, listen to that. I like that. It's kind of a, like a muted or a, a more of a pluck, a, like a muted pluck sound. There we go. Let's uh, let's go back to 440. So one of the things that I like to do, I like to use these historical instruments along with 
with some effects, with different types of effects. And I recently discovered a black hole from Eventide, and I'm just kind of been playing around with that. So I thought I would just uh, run some of these sounds through this uh, through this crazy uh, reverb here, and just to kind of just give you a taste of what you can do. So I've got the uh, 2D complete uh, loaded, and that's the 440. So I'm going to bypass black hole here inside of Cakewalk, and just kind of. <laughs> Give us a Now, let's turn on the black hole. <laughs> you know, they just recently recorded some sounds from inside a black hole, and it is pretty interesting. So, uh, here we go. I've got the Dreamscape preset pulled up. And you can hear just how it just takes it into another universe. Love having that really deep low end. Let's pull up another um, preset from Black Hole. Let's go uh, to Quasar Trails. Why not? <laughs> You're discovering along with me. So here we go. So we have instruments from the 1600s with effects from, let's say, the 21st century, where past meets future and beyond. Wow. So this is Simeon saying stay joyful and I'm so glad to be able to take you on these joyful journeys until next time